गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दी संडे इवनिंग स्पेशल लाइव आपका इस लाइव में बहुत बहुत स्वागत है गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग आई थिंक वी शुड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंक्लूड द फॉर्मल राउंड ऑफ एक्सचेंजिंग दी प्लेजेंट्रीज एंड देन वी कैन स्टार्ट विद आर लाइफ वेल विल ट्राई एंड कीप द लाइव ब्रिस्क एंड फन आई एम फाइन and i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine as well good evening and welcome to the live maritime universe long time no see i have just arrived at campus mr decent devil well good time to arrive at the campus i would say an anchor so kya kya chat mein likhte hain log <laughs> okay now let's start with the live today good evening everyone background blur must hai okay ha background blur rakha hua hai वैसे ही रखा हुआ शुरू में नहीं रख रहा था फिर मैंने कहा रख लेते हैं कुछ चेंज समटाइम्स द चेंज इज अप्रिशिएटेड अगर नहीं पसंद आ रहा हो तो बता देना अगले लाइफ से मेरे कोई फिल्टर्स वगैरह वैसे भी ज़्यादा पसंद नहीं है समझ में नहीं आते आई एम नॉट अ काइंड ऑफ अ पर्सन हु इज़ अ फैन ऑफ फिल्टर्स आप जो हैं जैसे हैं दुनिया को दिखना चाहिए एंड दैट्स माई ओपिनियन अबाउट फिल्टर्स तो भाई अब जो है वैसे ही दिखेंगे और कभी ना कभी तो सामने मिलना ही पड़ेगा तो फिल्टर लगा के फ़ायदा क्या है so that's my take on filter I especially I see present generation being under very very like you know including men and women both ठीक है ना कि filter जरूर लगाना है उनको ये जरूर दिखना है अच्छा दिखना चाहिए but think about the fact that one day you are going to see that person in real so if the projection is just for the outside world what's the whole point there is no point so try the God has created you in his own or in in their own way so whichever way you are you are you are, you are beautiful in your own way so don't worry too much about how do you have to appear in front of the cameras all the time so you guys must stay out of this peer pressure i see a lot of people are under like you know this way of they want to appear in a certain way like in a particular complexion mein ek particular look aisa nahi hai yaar wo hamesha just be yourself so puneet singh kathuria need my wishes it's our 10th anniversary today okay bhai guys if you can wish my dear friend puneet singh kathuria the co-founder of my page he is having his 10th anniversary so puneet wishing you and ashima a very happy anniversary 10 saal a decade so congratulations you are a survivor aur bahut bahut shubhkamnaye aapko so without any further ado hello shagun hello okay good words for junior officers i am agreeing with you yes so let's start with the live today so don't be under that peer pressure yaar aap jaise hain waise hain try and work upon yourself but that doesn't mean it's just working upon on the looks if you, if you work on the personality work how you present yourself to the world how you want to appear a lot will go into that and i'm sure with those things you will not require something just for the projection to the world now coming back to the topic of the live guys today's topic is going to be something which ha- which you guys have been asking me for quite some time now uh the topic is call regs collision regulations rule number 9 and the rule talks about narrow channel patli sakri galiyan so people who are not sir how is campus shipping i am going to take all open forum questions but towards the end of the live so guys only request is that till this live is in progress with regards to narrow channels call regs let's stick to the topic and once this live is over i'm going to take all your uh, all your questions um i don't know you can join i'm going to take all your open forum questions but let me finish the live otherwise ye live uh, off topic ho jayega and people will start to fall apart so stick to the topic that's why i've written it in the topic anything related pertaining to the rules of the road i'm more than willing to answer but anything which is like a open forum discussion we can have it once the live is over i can restart the live and we can discuss quickly all your doubts with regards to joining mer- merchant navy pertaining to pursuing any particular stream in merchant navy so on and so forth now moving on collision regulations first thing first like i always say whenever you have any doubt with regards to rule of the roads always read the rule word by word i am starting with rule number 9 today i'm sorry i'm not going in a chronological order i pick up a random rule and i just start my you know blah 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 with it but if you if 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 you are starting the rules for the first time or perhaps you are refreshing them again then i'll highly recommend you to start from rule number 1 and read each rule word by word do not skip or do this uh it's a disaster okay 
so rule number 9 what is rule number 9 and under which category is is it going to be rule number 9 is a part of a rule which is applicable in any condition of visibility that means section 1 okay part b and section 1 so section 1 is applicable under any condition of visibility so whether whether you are in sight of each other or whether you are in restricted visibility rule number 9 will be used in conjunction to the state of visibility remember that so it's applicable in both the conditions of visibility or to turn it around if you are answering a situation where a invigilator or anyone asks you or perhaps you question your own self that what if i'm proceeding in a narrow channel and it becomes the visibility becomes poor restricted is rule number 9 applicable or everything gets superseded by 19 rule 19 will be applicable in conjunction with rule 9 bear that in mind okay now let's start with rule number 9 part a let's go let's read each rule word by word and see what it makes does it make sense to us jo log uh, seafarers nahi hai unke liye main bolunga narrow channel is like if you're trying to drive your car your vehicle your two wheeler in a gully मोहल्ले के किसी गली में पतली गली में जब आप अपना स्कूटर चलाते हैं या कार चलाते हैं तो क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम होती है ये रूल एग्जैक्टली exactly अगर आप देखेंगे दिस रूल इज एवरीथिंग व्हाट यू डू इन योर मोहल्ले की गली आप आराम आराम से चलाएंगे अगर आगे कोई इफ देर इज अफ देर इज अ बॉर्नर यू स्टॉप योर कार और योर टू व्हीलर यू विल हॉन्क ऑन ऑन योर एनी वेज वी इंडियंस लव टू हॉन्क सो यू विल हॉन्क यू विल लुक लेफ्ट एंड राइट एंड देन पर टेक दैट टर्न बिकॉज यू नो नो वॉट्स ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ द टर्न you are not dri- driving fast and then you know as you approach the turn you know you don't want to stay right in front of the gully wo hamare yahan jhagda ho jata hai kai mohallon mein you see you know people they even mark it do not park in front of the uh, road you know or exit do not please par- do not park your vehicle in pr- front of the exit or do not park your vehicle in front of somebody's else's gate exactly that is what is rule number 9 is jo precautions if you think just like think out loud in your mind whatever precautions you take in the gali mohalla when you are driving a two wheeler or your vehicle or your four wheeler or your cycle exactly that's what you are supposed to do in a narrow channel as well whenever you are trying to overtake aapne dekha hoga kai baar koi uncle hai they have parked their vehicle on the left hand side or the right hand side and they are busy taking out their grocery as you wait for them what do you do or if it, if at all you are trying to take a maruti 800 in front of you who is driving very very slow what do you do you always honk and you wait for the other person to show ke theek hai bhai nikal ja this is what exactly a classic example to explain narrow channel is whatever you do by common sense in areas where you do not have sufficient room to move around your car or your vehicle is exactly what you do in narrow channel let's see what rule number 9 part a talks about it says a vessel proceeding along the course of a narrow channel or fairway now remember guys the they have used two words here these are two critical words narrow channel and fairway okay we'll come back to the definitions and meaning of both the words later a vessel proceeding along the course of a narrow channel or fairway shall keep as near to the outer limit as near to the outer limit of the channel or fairway channel or fairway which lies on her starboard side as is safe and practicable so it does not say you have to go all the way to the starboard side it says so far as practicable and it is safe for you depending on your sh- size draft so but idea is that you as a vessel should try and see if this is before i begin with that let's understand the difference between narrow channel and fairway what is the difference can anyone define me in the comment section or can explain me what is the difference between narrow channel and fairway kya hum mein se koi aap mein se koi ye answer karna chahega what is the difference between narrow channel and fairway mera bhai bhi aa gaya online main isko pin kar deta hu हेलो छोटे भाई कैसा है मेरा खुद का सगा भाई आ गया आज मेरा लाइव देखने वेरी गुड देख के बहुत अच्छा लगा ज्यादा देर नहीं टिकेगा भाग जाएगा सो हु इज गोइंग टू आंसर व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फेयरवे एंड नैरो चैनल कोई है जिसने रूल में थोड़ा सा ज्यादा डिटेल रिसर्च करी हुई हो डिफरेंस बिटवीन फेयरवे एंड नैरो चैनल द क्लॉक इज टिकिंग आई एम गोइंग टू वेट फॉर टेन मोर सेकेंड इफ एनी वन वॉन्ट्स टू आंसर दैट डेक गाइज गो हेड आंसर द क्वेश्चन Hi Captain Sidi how are you I'll pin your comment my younger brother Captain Sidi is my younger brother Saga bhai to hum log uh, generally people crack a joke on us he is a pilot and I'm a, I am I'm 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 a master mariner 
सो so, लोग हम लोगों को बोलते हैं उड़ता तोमर और बहता तोमर कि वो हमेशा हवा में मैं पानी में हूं तो हमारा जो निक नेम है वो उड़ता तोमर और बहता तोमर है थोड़ा सा लाइक ठीक है इट्स अ बैड पन बट ठीक है इट वर्क्स सो नो बडी इज गोइंग टू आंसर दैट सो आई एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नैरो चैनल एंड फेयर वे वेल टू कीप इट वेरी सिंपल फेयर वे इज अ ओपन नेविगेबल पैसेज यू नो ऑफ वाटर व्हिच हैज बीन ड्रेज्ड और नेचुरली यू नो यूजुअली you know if you see the charts you will see these dotted lines magenta lines you know typically that marks a fairway it's a open navigable passage of water you know so which has been maintained to a certain depth naturally or artificially by the port authorities and usually marked by the on the chart by these packed lines okay whereas in a narrow channel is a, is 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 is, a, is navigable water which is marked by the buoys in the vicinity so if you see a buoy channel that that channel you always say buoy channel so that is what narrow channel is you know that you are going to typically stay within the periphery of those buoys because that's what is safe for you that that area of water which has certain depth which is going to safely allow you to transit that area so a navy a narrow channel is basically width of navigable water between the set of buoys theek hai na and those set of buoys are typically lateral buoys you know when you see a, a you know a, a can on the port and a cone on the starboard whether it's any or b that that area between two boys is your narrow channel so that's the difference between fairway and narrow channel now moving on with the life so the rule says that so far as it is practicable possible and so far as it is safe for you try and stick to the outer limit of the channel so that means if this is me inbound to a channel and let's say that the peripheries of my screen is the periphery of that narrow channel so if i am in boat i am going to stay on to my starboard side which is this side so basically they are trying to separate the incoming and outgoing exactly what they do on the road aapne dekha hoga on a single lane road you stick on to one side and the other traffic stick the, the opposite traffic sticks to the to their side so that you are passing each other safely likewise exactly you do in a narrow channel if you are navigating a ship you stick to the starboard side of the channel now this guy is moving out he is going to stay on the i'll take a pencil so this is what is happening he will stick on to his starboard side gone on to the periphery of the screen and this guy has gone on the periphery of my screen so this is what is happening so typically safe passage because they both have separated by the meaning of rule number 9 that we, they will both transit the channel by being on the starboard side of the channel as safe as it is possible as safe so if the ship is much bigger with lesser draft it might stick a little bit more in this vessel can be a very small sailing vessel it can stick on to the outer periphery of the channel depending on the shape and size but the idea is to separate the traffic incoming and outgoing traffic by the meaning of these rules okay again the idea is to prevent the situation where a collision can take place or to overall prevent any collision that may happen because of no rules governing a particular given situation so that's part a now coming to part b quickly bahut simple sa rule hai we'll wrap up very quickly through it a vessel less now guys pay attention and agar aap time laga ke dekh rahe hain to this is very very important because a lot of you will have a doubt regarding this later a vessel less than 20 meters in length a vessel of less than 20 now the word is vessel it does not say power driven it does not say uh ram vessel it does not say constrained by draft any vessel any vessel less than 20 meters in length or a sailing vessel shall not now the word is not cannot should not it says shall not impede the passage of a vessel which can safely navigate only within a narrow channel or fairway now first key is just to keep things simple i am a loaded vlcc okay i may not be constrained by draft but i may not be able to go on the extreme periphery of the channel because the depths are shallow so i am trying to stick you i'm trying to stick within the buoy channel which is which is a channel in the end. see if you see a river the river can be 200 meters broad but i may be only able to utilize the area which is more than 15 meters or 20 meters depending on my draft so first key is here this is the channel the size the size of the screen is the channel and then in that in 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 that in that entire in that entire channel you see these layers of buoys left and right of your track 
and in that particular area you have got 30 meters of depth so you are a vlcc proceeding so you are going to of course take that narrow channel so what the rule says that if if you are a vessel less than 20 meters or you are a sailing vessel you you shall not impede the passage of this kind of a vessel which can only maneuver safely within the limits of that narrow channel or fairway so in a situation where you see that a sailing vessel or a less vessel less than 20 meters has impeded your passage you have a right of way over them and before taking any action you will warn them that they are not in compliance with this rule and what's that signal is we all know five short at least five short and rapid blast supplemented with light signals will be given to them if not then you will take evasive action as per what is best possible depending on your draft either by reducing speed or by altering course or combination of both or just by the alteration of course alone so remember guys less than 20 meters and sailing vessels should not impede the passage so if a if a, if, a, if a surveyor asks you that you are proceeding along a narrow channel and you see a sailing vessel ahead of you what will be your actions action so you must ask that is it am can i only proceed within this boy channel do i have sea room then he will say oh yeah okay you the entire channel is available to you sufficient sea room is available sufficient depth is available in that case you do not have a right of way over them but in case they impede a passage which happens to be your like in case you can only navigate within the within that channel or, or a fairway then you have a right of way over them it doesn't mean that there is one uh, small 30 meters boat which is proceeding and one sailing vessel come you know come anywhere on the channel they will have a right of way no the rule does not say that sailing vessel and less than 20 meters cannot impede the passage it does not mean that just because i give you a sailing vessel in anywhere in that channel that does not mean that you have a right of way oh sailing vessel i have a right of way five short and rapid no they should not impede the passage which is which happens to be a safe passage if i can say okay or provided you can only safely navigate within the limit of that narrow channel or fairway only then you have a right of way over them so remember that do not conclude a ah, sailing vessel she will keep out of way less, less than 20 meters she will keep out of way no remember that is that vessel is that passage happens to be the passage only within which you can navigate safely only then you have a right of way now coming to part c let's see how the word wording changes slightly but the meaning changes entirely a vessel engaged in fishing now remember guys it does not say a fishing vessel it says a vessel engaged in fishing so that means a vessel who is engaged matlab actively fishing kar raha hai ki aapko dekh ke laga a ah, chhota sa boat hai fishing vessel hai it has to display proper fishing signals and has to be engaged in fishing so a vessel engaged in fishing shall not impede the passage of any other vessel the word is vessel engaged in fishing shall not impede the passage of any other vessel navigating within the narrow channel or fairways so a fishing vessel cannot impede the passage so basically if you see a fishing vessel in a narrow channel you have a right of way in this situation you can say a fishing vessel narrow channel okay i have a right of way i'll give him five short and rapid if she doesn't take any action because she's supposed to stay clear of any vessel even if you're a sailing vessel remember do not come confuse rule 18 with responsibility with rule 9 rule number 9 10 and 13 will supersede rule number 18 okay so even though you are a power driven vessel which is supposed to keep out of the way of a sailing vessel or a fishing vessel out at open sea not in a narrow channel narrow channel you have a right of way if a fishing vessel is seen anywhere in a narrow channel provided she's engaged in fishing you have a right of way you can give him five short and rapid if she doesn't take any action action you will take action by your maneuver alone or in in combination of the maneuver of the fishing vessel if you think that sufficient cp is not created so remember the difference between vessel less than 20 meters and a sailing vessel compared to a fishing vessel is that a fishing vessel cannot impede the passage of any vessel in a narrow channel cannot she has to stay clear whereas in a vessel less than 20 meters or a sailing vessel is only supposed to keep clear you have a right of way over them provided they are impeding a passage which you can utilize and only utilize for your safe navigation so if this is the river river let's assume the width of the river is size of my screen there is a small boy channel and you are a vlcc proceeding in that channel 
And if a sailing vessel or a vessel less than 20 meters is seen, you have a right of way, you will give them five short and rapid. If a sailing vessel is seen anywhere in this area, you will give him five short and rapid. Doesn't matter whether you are a vessel less than 20 meters or whether you are a vessel, sailing vessel or you are a NUC or whether you are a power driven vessel, you will take right of way over a fishing vessel in a narrow channel. Okay. Now moving on, coming to the part D. A vessel shall not cross a narrow channel or fairway if such crossing impedes the passage of a vessel which can safely navigate only within such channel or fairway. Okay, the later vessel may use the sound signal prescribed in 34D if in doubt as to the intention of the crossing vessel. Now, the rule says a vessel shall not cross a narrow channel or a fairway. The word is vessel. It does not say power driven vessel, NUC, RAM. A vessel shall not cross a narrow channel or fairway. Such crossing impedes the passage of a vessel which can safely navigate only within such channel or fairway. Okay. So if you have a vessel which is crossing ahead of you, whether it is cross, whether she is crossing from starboard side or a port side, remember rule number nine will take precedence because rule nine is applicable in any condition of visibility. All right, so remember that. So if you have a power driven vessel on your starboard side in a crossing situation in a narrow channel, remember guys rule nine also will come into the practice. Okay, and the rule nine says that a vessel shall not cross a narrow channel or fairway if such crossing impedes the passage of a vessel which can safely navigate only within such channel or, or, or fairway. Provided you can only navigate within the limits. If you can go out, if you can use the entire area you have got no restrictions then of course this is not applicable to you and if in case the other vessel is not taking action means the vessel who's crossing ahead of you the vessel who's trying to cross the narrow channel if she is not taking any action then you can give her the sound signals prescribed in rule 34d what does rule 34d is at least five short and rapid blasts you know combined with light signals this is the idea is to the idea is to get his attention and tell him that boss, you're not complying. Do something about it. Okay. Now coming to the last part, the part E, that's where maximum confusion takes place. So pay attention to this one. This is a little important in a narrow channel or a fairway when overtaking can take place only if vessel to be overtaken. That means where overtaking requires assistance of a vessel, which has to be overtaken because narrow channel, you see guys, there's no, there's not enough room. So at times you might see that, you know, there's a big, large vessel in front of you, you know, which has some room on the port side, but she's not going extremely port because it's not safe. So she's maneuvering slightly inside the channel and you come as a container channel barging and you want to overtake. So you might want to tell this vessel that, see, I want to overtake with you. If it is okay, I would like to overtake you from, you know, starboard side or port side, depending on, you know, what, what exactly the circumstances. So you might require their assistance. Okay. So, but before you do that, you know, you have to take the permission of the vessel, which is being overtaken because narrow channel is just if you are proceeding in a, in a, in a small road, you will not go about overtaking the vessel until unless the other vessel doesn't give you enough room or you might gain, gain their attention by just giving a short honk, you know, that side mein ho ja, mujhe aage hai. but whenever you are overtaking this responsibility is still over you. Okay. Now let's read the rule. When overtaking can take place only if the vessel to be overtaken has to take action to permit safe passing, the vessel intending to overtake shall indicate her intention. So if you are a vessel which is trying to overtake the other vessel, this is a vessel in ahead of me. I am the overtaking vessel. I want to overtake her, but I want her assistance. Assistance in what? Bhai, thoda sa baaj ho ja, hat ja. Side, come thoda left. You have got enough room. Allow me to pass. So that's what you are trying to take her permission. That is it possible? Do you think? Because you don't know what exactly the draft of the vessel is, what speed, what's her squat, how safe and uncomfortable she is giving you the way. So you say that, see boss, I want to overtake you. Is it okay with you? It's just like asking, you know, knocking a door or perhaps, you know, ringing a bell that am I welcome? Can I come inside your house? Exactly the way. So if the other person doesn't allow, you can't come in. Likewise, if this person doesn't allow you or doesn't give you the approval, you cannot overtake. Okay, so the vessel to be overtaken shall in agreement sound appropriate sound signals as prescribed in 34 C to take the permit of safe passing. If in doubt, she may sound the signal prescribed in 34 D. Now, this is very complicated. Ho gaya. Hai na? But thoda ruko, hai usko. part two, kya bolta hai? this rule does not relieve the overtaking vessel of her obligation under rule 
13. Why they have written that? We will come to that in a minute. One second, okay. मैं इसको आपको दिखाना चाहता हूँ on the screen if it is possible. हालांकि filter may not allow. Okay, let me get the. Okay. Let me just load up the screen. Okay. So 34C कहता क्या है? Now it we already have discussed that in case you want to overtake this vessel in a narrow channel, you will require the permission of this vessel that if she is in agreement that you can overtake her. So this is just a permission. You and you require her assistance in overtaking. What assistance? Perhaps either she can she can slow down or perhaps it can give you a little bit more room if she feels it is comfortable. But basically you require certain bit of assistance because of lack of availability of sea room and you want to go ahead but not possible unless this vessel assists you in overtaking. So in that case what do you do? Well a vessel intending to overtake the other vessel as indicated in rule 9 shall indicate. So how will you indicate her your intention to this vessel whom you are trying to overtake? Two prolonged blasts followed by one short blast means I intend to overtake from your starboard side. And two prolonged and two short I intend to overtake from your port side. And the vessel jo, the whom you, whom you are going to overtake if she is in agreement then she will give one prolonged one short one prolonged one short. I will explain you. This is the ship you want to overtake from the starboard side. You will give her a sound signal two prolonged one short to pass from the starboard side. You will give her two prolonged two short if you want to overtake from a port side and if she is in agreement she will give you one uh, she will give you one prolong, one short, one prolong, one short. Okay. So if you want to overtake two prolong, one short on the starboard side, two prolong, two short on the port side. And if she gives you one prolong, one short, one prolong, one short, she's in agreement, then you can go ahead and overtake her. That's what it means. But what if she does not give you any sound signal? The rule specifically says that you need to wait for her permission. So this is a classic example where the surveyor might ask you that, okay, you want to overtake from a starboard side and how will you remember? It's very simple. Starboard side ka sound signal kya hai? One short blast. Exactly what you are going to give here. Two prolonged and one short. So one short here common hai. Going to, if you are going to alto coast to port side, we all know we give two short blasts. Again, wo common hai. Two prolonged and two short. So this is how you remember port and starboard. Do not get confused. Starboard jane ke liye we always use a single short blast which is common here. Two prolonged and one short. If you are trying to overtake from the port side, two prolonged, two short. Anyways, when we go to, when we alto coast to port, we take two short blasts in sight of each other, not in case of restricted visibility. So remember two short, too long, too short for the port side, too prolonged, one short for the starboard side. But what if she does not reciprocate? What if she does not answer your question? You will wait for her to answer. If she does not answer, that means she has not approved for whatever reason, she has stayed quiet. Remember, a ship baat nahi kar sakte. ship cannot talk. So she cannot turn around and say, bye mat kar. If, and there is no rule, there is no sound signal to say no to you. So if she stays quiet, that means the answer is no. So if she does not give you one prolonged one shot, that means her, she is not in agreement or it is safe for you to assume that she is not in agreement. Either ways, you do not overtake. What if you still continue to overtake? What, what is she going to do? If you continue to overtake, you have not replied to her with one prolonged one shot. This guy tells you, okay, I'm going to overtake you from the starboard side, gives you two prolonged and one shot and continues on the way. You have not given her permission by giving one prolonged and one shot because you are not interested. It's not safe for you. What are you going to do in that case? In that case, you being on this vessel, you're going to give this vessel five short and rapid blast that by I'm not in agreement and you're in, I'm not sure about your intention. Whereas in you on being on this vessel, if she does not reply, you cannot give her five short and rapid. No, you have to wait for the vessel whom you're going to overtake to reciprocate to you. And if she does not, that means she's not in consensus period. Because there is no rule, no sound signal prescribed within the meaning of Colrex, which can give you an answer as like, you know, no. But she can use five short and rapid blasts to tell you that boss, I'm not in agreement. Stop. I'm not sure about your intention. But you the, being an overtaking vessel cannot give her five short and rapid for not answering you. That's one. Number two, rule number 13. Remember guys, rule number 13 overrules 9, 10, anything where rule 13 is applicable except in case of restricted visibility. Rule 13 is going to supersede 
the resp- it does not put any responsibility just because she is supposed to assist you in this situation that does not mean that you being an overtaking vessel can have a luxury over her rule number 13 is still applicable that means all the engagements which are required by rule number 13 you have to still comply provided you are in line of sight of each other you're taking over the other vessel when you can visually see her so remember rule 13 will still requires you to keep clear of the vessel being overtaken so that's what it means this rule does not relieve the overtaking vessel of her obligation under rule 13 so rule number 13 over rules many beginning me aapko bola tha ke rule number 9 is applicable in any condition of visibility so it will be applicable in restricted condition it will be applicable when you are in line of sight of each other it will be applicable when rule num- because rule number 13 is also applicable when you are in line of sight of each other when you can see each other visually but within the meaning of these rules it give rule 13 a leverage that rule 13 will be oh, will be considered like you know over rule 9 in case of an overtaking situation rule 13 is still applicable this rule does not give you a leverage over the vessel being overtaken very clearly so remember though the other vessel is supposed to assist you in overtaking is supposed to acknowledge your request to be overtaken but if she does not give you an answer or if at all you are overtaking after she has answered that does not mean she continues to stay obliged you are still obliged to, as under rule number 13 to safely cross past and stay clear of her okay remember so you so this vessel is still does not have the entire responsibility okay just because she's supposed to assist you under rule number 13 you are still supposed to be you are still obliged to keep clear and pass clear of her so that's what this rule means now coming to rule 9 part f the vessel nearing a bend or an area of narrow channel or fairway where other vessels may be obscured by an intervening obstruction shall navigate with particular alertness and caution and shall sound the appropriate sound signal as prescribed in 34e 34e kya hai abhi kuch nahi hai aapne bhi dekha hoga whenever you go in an area if there is a blind sector especially in hill drives where you cannot see because of the bend whether there is a vehicle coming in opposite lane or not what do you do you always give us chota sa dipper mar dete ho light ka ya sometimes you give a small honk the idea is to see if there is anything other so first ki if there is a bend in the narrow channel you are the ship there is one more ship coming down across the bend theek hai first ki ye mera jahaj hai across the bend means outside the screen First, there is there is a vessel across the band which is outside the screen limit that means you can't see him so in a narrow channel where two vessels are approaching each other and because of the bend aage jaise nadiyon mein dekha hoga apne bend hai you cannot see that vessel even the radars will not be able to catch that vessel because radar radar itself will be limited because of the bend or the curve how will you know if there is somebody on the other side of the bend or the curve that's where this rule comes into the picture and that's when you need to give this sound signal to make sure that there is nobody on the other side of the bend so what is the rule says what what uh, sound signal you are going to give a vessel nearing a bend or an area of the channel or fairway where other vessel may be obscured by an intervening obstruction shall sound one prolonged blast such signal shall be answered with a one prolonged blast by an approaching vessel that may be within there so if you are taking a bend you will sound one prolonged blast and she will reply by one prolonged blast so that means are bhai udhar koi hai ha bhai main hu that's what it means just like when you are driving in hills you see these bends you always use a dipper in the night or a small honk and more often than not you see the other person also uses the dipper or a small honk to tell you that bhai please slow down and please stick to your side because even i am coming maybe you are not able to see me and by that time we see each other it may be too late for us to take any action so stick to your side be careful that's what it means because you know in a river in a across the bend you may not be able to see what lies on the because if you can't see it how will you know what kind of vessel is it or but with the presence of ais this limitation is still you can overcome but ais is an aid to the navigation you cannot decide your action to avoid a collision basis ais so remember this is where this is the only place where ais or one of the places where ais can have an edge over your radar that your radar may not be able to see something which is across the band so first ki ji mera screen ek limitation hai this is the radar if 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 you are across my screen my radar will not be able to see you because all your electromagnetic waves is going to bounce back from the screen so agar main ye apna hath piche rakh lu apne screen ke to aapko nahi dikhega because camera is facing me likewise for a radar to see you across the band it's not possible because all the radar waves will be assumed by that mountain or that cliff or that structure so you can't see the other vessel whereas an ais can still show you 
the AIS symbol of the other vessel, but you cannot account it because AIS is only for the aid of navigation. So to keep things simple, if you are bearing a band, band matlab, agar aap kisi nadi ke band mein, kisi narrow channel ke band mein, dusra vessel aapko nahi dikh raha, you suspect the other vessel being there, then you can use one prolonged blast to make your presence. And if the other vessel listens it, she'll also give you a revert by sounding one prolonged blast. That's what it means when it says to raise alertness by a sound signal. Okay. Now coming to the last part, any vessel shall if the circumstances of case admit, avoid anchoring in the narrow channel. Now this is very common. You must have seen in your, uh, in your colonies, in your societies, it is very clearly mentioned, do not park in front of the gate, do not park in front of the road uh, exit, do not park in front of the entry. This is what exactly they are trying to say that boss, if you're trying to anchor, do not anchor in the middle of a channel because every vessel is trying to enter and get out from that channel. So if at all you are, you are, you are planning to anchor, then anchor clear of the channel. It's just like I leave my bag in front of your door and you are trying to come out and of course you are going to stop, uh, you know, you are, you are, you are going to stoop on it and you're going to fall down. So that's what common sense is. You don't leave your bag on the road. You can see that platform and people leave their bag on the beach. You can chances that you can fall down. If you fall down the road on the road, then people fall down. That's what it says. That is, if at all you're planning to anchor and you're trying to approach a narrow channel, you want more time, your pilot is delayed or for whatever reason, then do not anchor right in front of the channel. Go either left or right and stay clear of the entry and exits. That's all it means. So remember that. So, we are, so that's what it means. So this is what pretty much rule nine is. We are going to wrap up the live until unless you guys don't have any questions else. Otherwise, for me. Oh, I forgot to scroll. Sorry, your questions will be missed. Okay, let's see. Yes, Ashwin. So this is it, guys. In case you have got any questions. You can throw your questions. Otherwise, we'll wrap up the live. Last 10 to 15 seconds, rule number 9 or anything else. Otherwise, in call recs, if you have making way and underway, please. This question will come so many times. I'm saying that you go to my old live and see, I've answered it. Making way and underway, making way and underway, the difference is that making way is underway is any time when you are not made fast to shore. Means, if you don't have a mood, if you don't have a mood, if you don't have a mood, if you don't have a anchor, yeah, background nahi hai. Any other situation that imagine if you are just ask yourself, am I at anchor? No. Ask yourself, am I a ground? No. Ask yourself, am I moved in any ways, whether using my anchor cable or my mooring ropes? No. That means you're underway, which can typically means either you are moving or you are just drifting. So any other situation, what other situation can be either you, you can be moving, making way through the water or you can be just drifting. Both the cases you are underway. Okay. Even when you are anchoring, if the anchor is not brought up or till that time it is not brought up, you are considered underway. Until that time, the anchor is not clear of the bottom. You do not have your maneuvering. You are not considered underway because you are still at anchorage. So within the meaning of these rules, till that time you are not moved, made fast to shore or at anchor or aground, you are, you can consider yourself. So any three, con any other condition other than these three conditions, this is two conditions. Either you are moving or you are drifting. So you are underway. Now, what does making way means then? Underway to clear ho gaya. What is making way? Making way means up chal bhi rahe. But drifting is not making way. Making way, you can say primarily, you're cutting through the water using your engines. Okay. But if you stop your engines and you're still making 13 knots, will that be underway? Well, wahan ja ke cheeze court room mein pahunch jati hain. Debatable ho jati hain. That what exactly is making way? Well, just to keep things very simple, till the time you're using your engines, you're cutting the water through, you're making your way through the water, you can say you're making way. But drifting is not making way. Because in that case, you're not the only person moving. Everybody else is also moving along with you. Drift to sabi ek jasi karenge na. Do not ka karente to dono move karenge na. So drifting is not making way. It's underway. Underway and making way means when you're actually propelling yourself through the water, you're cutting through the water by the use of machinery or else otherwise. So remember, you have to be making substantial amount of headway to call yourself making way. But as soon as you use the engines, definitely you're making way, even if you're doing half a knot, one knot, 10 knot, doesn't matter. If you're using your propelling machinery, definitely you are making way. But in case, what happens if in case I'm doing 15 knots, I just stop my engines. Am I making way? Ideally, yes, because you're still making the way through the water. But if you come to a stop still, and then you start to drift, that's just underway, I would say. That's how I can explain you. 
and if i am wrong or if you have any other thoughts to it feel feel free to add in to the comment section okay so that was underway and making way what about the ship dragging its anchor while engine off is it making way no you are dragging anchor you are not under i told you once you your anchor is brought up till the time your anchor is not brought up you are still underway but once your anchor is brought up and you start to drag neither you are under the rule says very clearly boss you don't have to be at anchor आपने अगर एक बार एंकर डाल दिया नीचे वो ड्रैग नहीं कर रहा होल्ड नहीं कर रहा यू आर नॉट अंडर वे यू आर ड्रैगिंग द सिचुएशन इज यू आर ड्रैगिंग एंकर बट यू आर स्टिल एट एंकर यू विल स्टिल कंटिन्यू टू शो योर लाइट्स यू आर ड्रिफ्टिंग नो वेदर बिकॉज योर एंकर इज नॉट होल्डिंग और बिकॉज ऑफ द स्ट्रॉन्ग करेंट दैट डज नॉट बेटर रिमेंबर गाइज आई सेड इफ यू आर ड्रिफ्टिंग यू आर स्टिल अंडर वे करेक्ट बट एक बार आपने एंकर डाल दिया और वो एंकर होल्ड नहीं करा एक बार आपने उसको डाल दिया तो आप उसको डिबेट कर सकते हैं कि उस केस में कब ये हुआ तो बहुत डिबेटेबल हो जाएगा सो इन केस इनिशियली आपका एंकर ब्रॉट अप हुआ ही नहीं और आप ड्रिफ्ट करते रहे तो आप बोल सकते हैं कि आई वाज अंडरवे बट इन अ सिचुएशन वेयर योर एंकर वाज 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 ब्रॉट अप एंड देन यू स्टार्ट टू ड्रिफ्ट वेल दैट्स अ सिचुएशन ऑफ ड्रैगिंग एंकर नॉट इट इट विल नॉट क्वालिफाई एज अंडरवे एंड इफ एट ऑल यू एंड अप कोलाइडिंग विद समवन इन द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ देन दिस विल नॉट बी द ओनली कंडीशन यू विल बी आल्सो डिबेटिंग व्हाई द इंजिनस वर नॉट कैप्ट ऑन अ शॉर्ट नोटिस और व्हाट नोटिस वाज गिवन टू द इंजन रूम व्हाट was the distance between you and the other vessels when you anchored so on and so forth so that this will become very very tedious but assuming that you anchored it was brought up and then you start to drag you are still consider- because you remember when we switch off our anchor lights once the forward reports that the anchor is away uh, once the, once they report that the anchor is clear of the bottom the anchor is away that's when we so after, once the anchor is brought up till the time your anchor is away you can consider yourself at anchor and if you start to drag well that's a situation which is very complicated i won't say that i won't consider myself as under well still consider my myself at anchor but yet i will take action to prevent collision that is also by the virtue of good seamanship sir is it possible to post these videos wiki all my lives are always safe my brother friend i think you have not seen my lives all my lives are always safe so that's my understanding i can be wrong it's debatable so if you guys have got different thoughts to it please feel free to share it in the comment section between uh, that what is the condition of dragging anchor versus underway but the rule says very clearly that a vessel is not considered underway if she is at anchor if she is a ground or made fast to shore theek hai ab aap berth pe thoda bahut aage piche ho gaye to kya mooring pe nahi ho mooring pe ho bhai ideally your anchor is down can you start to maneuver with your anchor down of course not can you start to make way with your anchor down no you cannot you have to pick up the anchor so ideally in my opinion even if the if the vessel is dragging anchor you are not underway but if your anchor is not down and you are just drifting your engines have stopped you have come to a stand still zero knots and then the current or wind starts to you know drift you here and there you are still underway but not making way that's what my understanding is but the rule does not specifically explains making way or there is no official definition of making way but common sense and good seamanship prevails if you are cutting your way through the water and definitely if you are cutting you are making your way through the water with the help of a propelling machine is definitely you are underway the making way and underway both so that's what my understanding of underway and making way is as it is i can be wrong like i said rules of the road at few areas are debatable it's a subject matter of debate and it is open for certain bit of interpretation what is the meaning of impede in this rule impede means it is coming in your way that it involves risk of collision because rules of the road only gets triggered if there is a risk of collision you are not bothered about a fishing vessel which is anchored somewhere in china even if if she is doing it in front of a narrow channel you are concerned what is happening to you in real time so impede means that she is coming in a way that it involves risk of collision it triggers these rules fishing vessel is allowed to fish even in the narrow channel it does not say it cannot fish it says that if she is fishing and engaged in fishing she should not impede means she should not be involved in a way that it can create a risk of collision or it can require her to stay clear of you where it will definitely lead, lead to a collision so that's what impede means in a way that it becomes concerning it should not be staying in that narrow channel in a way where it can become concerning it can develop into a risk of collision situation or a probable collision as i can say if i am able to explain you that's what impede means good question sochne pe mazboor kara case study of rule 9 one of the examples from one of your voyage 
rule 9 ka koi example mm. across the band yeah, you will see pilot most of the times giving prolonged horns that's quite often and uh, i can't remember as a general practice you are always staying on the starboard side of the channel so this is something which is quite practical but i haven't i have never used uh, this sound signal of taking over someone and then waiting for the permission we don't end up overtaking bulk cargo ships we are not that fast but container ships i think they can definitely use rule 9 part e because they are like da 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 and gone gone with the wind so i think that's all the questions we have is there anything else feel free to question anchor is dragging engine is started action started but still anchor is restricting maneuvering i think i've answered your question yogesh you are still at anchor you cannot start to maneuver if you maneuver you are not freely maneuvering you are restricted so both complicated ho jayega subject matter of debate but to keep things simple if you are simple if your anchor is stopping you to maneuver consider yourself you are still at anchor but because you are dragging you know the condition may result in very risky situation or risk of collision then in that case you are supposed to pick up the anchor re-anchor yourself if the conditions are conducive if not then you are supposed to pick up the anchor and be underway and take appropriate action that's my understanding of dragging anchor and engines have started engines have started has got no meaning you can be using your engines even with the uh, 10 cables down just to ease out the stress are you not are you underway that means underway never says just because you have underway ki definition mein kahin ye nahi likha ke tum engine nahi use kar sakte you are a tanker you can still be using your engines kahan definition mein likha hai you might be just using your engines to ease out the uh stress on the cable or you might be just uh, using as a preemptive measure so that you don't start to drag or you might be using your engine just to check the swing you know sometimes we are swinging along with the tide so rule of the road underway mein kaha likha hai aap engines nahi use kar sakte it says if you are at anchor a ground or made fast to shore you are not underway so if you are at anchor and you want to use your engine to ease out the stress i will i'm going to use my engines 10 times in a day i'll give 10 short kicks to ease out the weight on the cable does that makes me underway of course not but if i'm dragging and i'm using anchor so it you have to give details and I, you, then these things becomes very debatable and you need to give more details then how far am i from the other vessel why was i anchored so closely why did, did i why did i not pick up the anchor before and when was the weather forecast received why did i start to drag anchor there is always a reason you started to drag anchor right either it can be wind it can be weather it can be strong currents so it cannot be that straight forward ha ah, difference between safe passage and not there is no word as not safe passage there is the word is safe passage and passage and the word safe passage like it says that you can only navigate within the limit of that channel say if there is a if there is a boy channel or a dredge channel there there are no boys there is a dredge channel uh, fairway like you can say and she's dressed to 20 meters and you can proceed your draft is 18 meters so that becomes your safe passage see first key is here this is the width of your river the size of my screen is the width of the total river and within that river there is a dredge channel of 20 meters my draft is 18 meters so that becomes that that channel within 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 this river becomes my safe passage because i cannot leave that channel though the river is so big so huge the river is as huge as my screen left and right so ideally if my vessel is having 2 meters draft i can go anywhere in the channel so this entire thing is a passage for me if i have a if i have a small vessel with 2 meters draft the river is 10 meters deep port to starboard and only 20 meters deep in the center then for me the entire river becomes a passage this is the passage for me because my draft is only 2 meters so i can go wherever i want to go but if there is a vlcc approaching end to end port to starboard the river is 10 meters deep but only 20 meters deep in the center of the channel which is marked by the boys then that becomes my safe passage because if i go anywhere outside that channel i will be aground so i cannot do just because water is available that does not mean i can utilize that space it's like that you know just because pani ka cover available hai aur jahaz pani pe chalta hai that doesn't mean i can go anywhere i can roam around in the entire river or entire narrow channel or entire fairway so that becomes my safe passage okay that th- this is also a case of singapore street you know where you are a 15 18 meters uh, draft loaded vessel and you know you cannot go left or right because of the shallow patches so that 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 passage deep water route for example your deep water route in singapore channel is your safe passage because you can be an 18 19 meter loaded tanker vloc whereas in i can be a 10 meter draft uh, handy max for me the entire tss is available to go left right port starboard but for you deep water route is an example of a safe passage i i, I would say the easiest way to understand 
सेफ पैसेज एंड पैसेजेस दैट इन 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 सिंगापोर चैनल टी एस एस द एंटायर टी एस एस इज अ पैसेज इफ आई एम अ टेन मीटर्स ड्राफ्ट वेसल एंडी मैक्स वेर इज इन यू आर अ लोडेड वी एल सी सी विद एटीन मीटर्स ड्राफ्ट द डीप वॉटर रूट विद इन द टी एस एस बिकम्स योर सेफ पैसेज वाई बिकॉज दैट इज द ओनली एरिया यू कैन यूटिलाइज टू नेविगेट सेफली एंड अनलाइक अदर्स यू कैन नॉट लीव दट एरिया सो सेफ पैसेज मीन्स रेस्ट्रिक्शंस ऑन गोइंग restrictions on your maneuvering going port and starboard so a deep water route within a tss or a channel is an example of a safe passage whereas in the entire tss becomes a passage deep water route within that tss becomes safe passage if i if i am able to explain you correctly i hope i am able to explain you so that's passage and deep pass deep deep uh, safe passage and passage uh, so your deep water route within the channel or within a tss is a safe passage whereas in the entire tss is a passage okay i am on vloc or korea okay huge ship credit sharma fancy ships i sir abhi kahan ho is there any other questions anchoring impeding the way of anchor impeding the way of fishing vessel in narrow channel who is responsible for the action a vessel is the rule very clearly says that any vessel shall if the circumstances of case admit avoid anchoring in a narrow channel so a vessel whose anchoring in a narrow channel is supposed to stay clear rules nahi padte aap dhang se maine aapko bola agar aap rule ko word by word padhenge ab dekho clearly point g mein likha hua hai but yet he has asked me this ye to clear hai aap safe passage passage ke beech mein confuse ho sakte hain aap narrow narrow channel fairway mein confuse ho sakte hain because unka definition nahi diya hua it has to be interpreted by lawyers or you know विद इन द मीनिंग ऑफ दीज रूल एक्स्ट्रा पोलेशन करना पड़ सकता है बट रूल नंबर नाइन जी क्लियरली सेज एनी वेसल शेल इफ द सर्कमस्टांसिस ऑफ केस एडमिट अवॉइड एंकरिंग इन अरो चैनल सो अवॉइड करना चाहिए था उसको एंकर चैनल के लिए और आप फिशिंग कर रहे हैं फिशिंग चैनल इज सपोज टू नॉट इम्पीड अ पैसेज ऑफ 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 अ वेसल विच इज नेविगेटिंग विद इन द नैरो चैनल अगर वो जा रहा है उस नैरो चैनल में आप नैरो चैनल में कहा जा रहे हैं आपने तो एंकर करके बैठ गए नैरो चैनल में यू आर सपोज टू कीप क्लियर ऑफ द फिशिंग वेसल इन दैट केस आइडली यू आर नॉट सपोज टू एंकर विद इन द नैरो चैनल सो फॉर ए सर्कमस्टांस ऑफ केस एडमिट इन दो सरकम स्टांसिस इफ यू एंड अप कोलाइडिंग विद अदर वेसल इट इट विल बिकम अ केस विच विल बी नॉट डिसाइडेड बाई यू एंड मी इट विल गो इन टू द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ एंड द लॉयस फ्रॉम बोथ एंड विल गिव there are own examples that whether it was a designated area to anchor or not but rule number 9 g required vessel not to anchor but the fishing vessel is supposed to stay clear who was not following due diligence and good seamanship practice it won't be that straight forward so you need to give me more details in that case can we go out of boy channel having good depth outside in some case samne wala action nahi le raha and then how will come back in the channel just exactly the way you left the channel ideally if you can use the channel ideally if you are not required to be in the channel why are you in that channel because that channel is specifically for people who are supposed to be in that channel that's the whole idea of creating that channel within a channel so it's wrong on your part first of all to get into an area where you're not supposed to be designated like you know you cannot use a deep water route in singapore strait just because you are any vessel there is a certain limit you know beyond which you are allowed to enter that deep water if you are if you if you have willfully entered a deep water route you will be asked to vacate that area and you might be even fined so if you have entered a narrow channel which is not designated to you but it is allowed then in that case the way you have gone out is the way you come back and of course you are going to utilize it the sea room to take action to alter course why will you not what argument will you have tomorrow in the court of law if you don't alter your course saying that i was in a narrow channel so narrow channel is only a narrow when it when it is restricting you from going left or right because of your draft or lack of sea room if the entire channel was available to you and you said no but tha to narrow channel bhai to usse kya matlab hai tumhare liye narrow kahan hua if you are supposed to go half a mile right or stab out to your position and you have the sea room to do that why will you not do that and the way you have gone out is the way you will come back to the coast usme ab nikal gaye to bahar kaise aayenge bhai jaise nikla hai waisi hi aayega but question hai na ki what were you doing in that designated boy channel which is supposed to be more like a deep water route okay but good question good questions kafi interrogating questions puch raha hu sir hi sir watch kick nikalne ke liye se bhai तो ये काफी अच्छा क्वेश्चन था योगेश ने आई होप आई एम एबल टू आंसर यू योगेश एंड आई होप दैट यू आर कन्विंस विद द आंसर 
ఐ థింక్ ఇన్ నెరో ఛానల్ ఎమూవీ యాక్షన్ బై సేఫ్టీ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ టేక్స్ ప్రెసిడెన్స్ ఓవర్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ సో ఎమూవీ కేస్ మీకు యాక్షన్ హోగా బై వై హోగా జో ఎమూవీ కేస్ మీ యాక్షన్ హోతా యూ విల్ బి జస్ట్ లిటిల్ బిట్ మోర్ కేర్ యూ కెన్ నాట్ ఆల్టర్ యూర్ కోర్స్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ అడన్ యూ మే నాట్ ఈవెన్ హ్యావ్ ద లగ్జరీ ఆఫ్ ఆల్టరింగ్ ద కోర్స్ అట్ ఆల్ బట్ రిమెంబర్ ఇన్ నెరో ఛానల్ దేర్ ఆర్ అదర్ షిప్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ టు అసిస్ట్ యూ దేర్ విల్ బి స్మాల్ క్రాఫ్ట్స్ బిగ్ హ్యూజ్ వెసల్స్ సో follow your company contingency plan in case of an mob but you as a duty officer must do pretty initial action stock ke bilkul same rahenge you will release the life boy you will inform the vessels in vicinity you will post extra lookouts you will go about you know releasing the uh, mob marker if in case somebody has sighted him then in that of course you cannot take up williamson town or maybe you can depend on the sea room but if you have the sea room most likely it won't be called a narrow channel so you may not have the luxury to stop your vessel immediately but you may have the luxury to turn the vessel around and come back in the opposite lane if you are in a tss say like for an example in in singapore strait you might be able to turn the vessel around come back in the opposite lane and so on and so forth but sari action same rahenge the only point of contention mob in a narrow channel is can i turn myself around safely is it safe to do so because what you don't want is that to save one life you cannot risk the other 20 and the risk of uh, you know the safety of environment and safety of other vessels too though the safety of life is a priority so you will do whatever best you can do to assist the mob in that particular condition you might be able to go to a designated anchorage area might lower your rescue boat and then receive him or ask the coast guard which will be in that case be able to assist you immediately so that will be more on the on, on those on those likes that's that's what i am going to say yeah i think that answers your question if there is anything else williamson turn is what impossible in narrow channel as other vessels are also present in the coast no no absolutely not it williamson turn is not difficult in case you are a small boat you are assuming yourself to be a huge vlcc man overboard is not restricted just to a vloc or a large container ship it can even take place on a small fishing boat which can just turn around in a matter of second or it can even take place even in a um, in a in a tss where you are in a separation zone in a in a separation zone as a fishing vessel you can do whatever you want to do left right up and down whatever way you want so you have given very limited data to call this situation that you cannot turn around you can turn around if you are a small fishing vessel or if you are a small sailing vessel within a zone or a lane you can turn around it's not about whether you can turn around or not it's about is the is there is there enough sea room for you what speed you are doing what size you are so on and so forth and is turning around the most wisest action in that condition so that depends singapore strait definitely not if you are a large loaded vloc or tanker but then remember you've got so many other ships why do you want to turn around your ship and save your the idea is to save life it does not say that you have to save it there might be a very small boat or a small tug boat just 1 mile from you you will perhaps seek assistance from him which is rather easy and much faster than you turning your ship around so common sense has to prevail over anything else you know otherwise not only that life is gone the safety of the environment and the safety of your ship itself will be compromised but it does not mean you cannot take a williamson down you can take if you are a small fishing vessel it's much more easier for you to turn around is there anything else we can use rescue boat yes you can definitely use rescue boat provided first you have to stop the vessel uh, ideally the rescue boat i think by the within the meaning of the rules can be lowered up to this maximum speed of i think 5 knots but 5 knot pe aapne kabhi rescue boat lower kara hai koshish kijiyega i think you will have a lesson of your life it's not that easy as it is written in the regulations lowering we are not trained uh, or crafted seafarers those who are handling emergencies on day we are we, we face emergencies once in our lifetime or maybe not even that so remember the practicality of a situation not just what is written okay singapore mein jahaz ko ghumayega to singapore ke jahaz ke captain ko ghuma denge bilkul sahi kaam x ne i think he is correct very very logically answered you can you can see you will inform the vts the vts might itself tell you that okay turn around and they might inf- engage other ships telling them stay clear of you they might give you some separate status search and rescue declare kar de but yaar bada dynamic sa question hai aapka ye matlab isko iske upar khud ek ghante ka live ho sakta hai i would say 
बट डायरेक्ट ये रूल से रिलेटेड नहीं है एमओबी कहीं आपने वर्ड देखा नहीं होगा विद इन द मीनिंग ऑफ कॉल रेक्स ओके आई थिंक विद दैट वी कैन रेप ऑफ द लाइफ टूडे रूल नंबर नाइन इज डन नेक्स्ट इज गोइंग टू बी रूल नंबर टेन एज एन वेन आई गेट दैट टाइम बट रिमेंबर रूल नंबर नाइन वेन एवर यूर अप्लाइंग रूल ऑफ पार्ट टू एंड पार्ट थ्री बोथ आर एप्लीकेबल दैट मीन्स इन साइट ऑफ इच अदर एंड इन रेस्ट्रिक्टेड विजिबिलिटी रूल नाइन इज एप्लीकेबल इन बोथ और द अदर टू इधर ऑफ द टू विल बी एप्लीकेबल लाइक इधर रूल्स इन साइट ऑफ इच अदर और रूल नाइनटीन तो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर रूल नाइनटीन इज यूज यूज इन कंजंक्शन विद इधर ऑफ द टू सीनारियो या नाउ आई कैन स्लीप आ हैप्पी मैन ओके फाइव के ट्वेंटी फाइव के भाई बड़ा अच्छा है आपका ईस्ट हो गया Thanks a lot, Max. Thank you. Okay, I think that's it. We'll wrap up the live today. For generic questions, I'm going to restart the live, and in that we can have around ten to fifteen minutes of generic Q and A, where we can try and take your questions. And somebody, I'm sure, from our viewers will be able to give you the expert advice. And in case I happen to have some experience, I will be more than happy to share that advice with you. But with on those thoughts, I'll wrap up the live per se, at least for rule number nine and call regs. see you on my next and that's going to be rule number 10 until such time you take care of yourself and shubhratri shubh khair stay safe and i'll see you on the next cheers guys